Hello, Captain Rafa here, again. <laughs> Today I want to introduce to you new application or software, how you name it, on Windows, and that was for Jeep's cars. That is Upcar FCA, Diac FCA. Uh, so we gonna start that one. So, like you see, there is application here, down there, double tap, and then we have, why the start like this one, look here, full screen, and then we see, this is Polish language, you have uh, two choices, Polish or English. And if you purchase this software, uh, you must buy also dongle, so you can read on the site which dongle it works. There is one cable dongle and there is several uh, Bluetooth dongles, so work with this uh, software. So afterwards, we connect with my car. Now it's reads, like you see, Elm version 2.1, and like you have seen, it's already scanned now. I start scanning, it's not much, it's 2005 Grand Cherokee Laredo, so it's not much to scan of this. Then we have settings. Then you set here everything about connection. Then you have your logging. You use the same email here and uh, password. Uh, the same you have purchases this software, you know, on the site. So, like you see, you have Polish and, and English. And now before, uh, if you log on, login here after purchases you know you get uh, the answer by mail which uh, you do uh, with link you do to download the software then you download it install it then you log in here and then you connect it to the car so then gonna be read here your car and ask you if this car you want to use that one you put just you know one win two wins or five wins I think so more you purchase you know, more you, uh, it then is cheaper so then you save here and afterwards you if you purchase one one win and you save it it's downloading for your car and then you have your VIN number, and the flag, uh, software, which software you have purchased. I have purchased uh, a Polish language. So here, like you see, you must choose your language here before you save it and download the software. So afterwards, if you download that, there is scan it. So we go to diagnose. Like you, like I have mentioned before, uh, that was uh, scanned directly after I have connected to my car. And then we have all modules I have on my car, nothing more. And there is only one far code on the radio, so as usually on this car. Then we go to ABS. Then you have all data. There you have uh, live data, live data. Uh, they can consider con uh, maybe if there will be better if there 
here you can save your report if you press here there is save there you can uh, write by hand and from the list to check with which uh, module also but to see live data you must press precisely on this if you press on the side doesn't work so that once you want to see you click here and then you click upwards on the start and then you have have all data so I think they could be better when they do some one here so you can press it and then you know it's chosen everything as you wish or else you can press one by one so we stop it here there we have DTCs like you see all right it's active codes waiting codes and history codes if you have this DTCs that are gonna be small marking here with the color and then we have activation tests like you see we are in ABS module activations and are all everything ABS pump everything and then you press start what you want to test procedures we don't have any procedures here so next is CCM double tap and us module win there was all modules all I I do not press another minus I have found that we don't have a graphics here it's only like you see you can see measurements like that one start and that was your measurements uh, so they're going to show you true or false or or values and nothing more like you see so there is no graphics it could be here its place so it could be here maybe in the future so this is it's no this is here I don't have a disease there is nothing to test here so another one that is all compass year sensor no disease nothing here like I've mentioned this is Laredo so not much and that gonna be it, I throw this is BCM this is Polish shortcuts so you know if you're gonna have FCM if you're gonna have uh, no, like you see this is FCM you can res reset echo here and so if you choose English then you're gonna have uh, English shortcuts So that is our live data here. That is a lot of live data. Yeah. Now the disease we don't know. And then we're gonna to check uh, like you see activation test high beam left side I have connected to my left side from sterling wire my extra lights also my off-road lights so like you see it's I'm gonna to show you 
everything's working. Check your blinkers, fog lights, so on, so on. Your wipers. Okay, we go out from here. That is Evic. Yeah. No, no, it's not so heavy. This is uh, uh, low case. Add back. So they're gonna have all parameters from Airbox. No actuation tests, no PCM. And then you're gonna have all data from PCM. Ignition, everything. And then you're gonna DTCs. I don't have a DTC, so and then you have actuation test, so I can check on the engines, injectors, so on, so on. And that was PCM radio live data disks status blah 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 and then we press the this is we have one control like you have seen it this is gray and it shows its history code if it's going to be waiting code so it's going to be yellow and if after active is going to be red we don't have a actuation code, actuation tests, no, no bidirectional test here, and that is steering wheel, steering wheel, everything, that one, lot of things, I don't have any TCs here, and no bidirectional tests here. TCM transmission. Live data. It's all live data. I don't have any TCs and no bidirectional tests. And then we go to VCM. There's a lot of VCM. Make it see. Okay, now we go to report, and then you see all reports here about codes. It look like this. Like you see, it's only one code on the radio. Historic. You can copy, and you can uh, save this report. And there is configuration reports also, if you don't some configuration, so you're gonna have report. And then we have programming. 
So here, first position, you can program your uh, blinkers, you know, if you tap here one time, it's now blinking three times. So you can change for one time or three times. That was there. Day running nice. You can configure it your day running nice if you. This is tire size, like I have mentioned before about tires. So it's look like that. You, if you change the tire size, like you see, it's in millimeters now. I have on millimeters. Like here, if you want to change this tire size, so be careful about that. You do not measure from the bottom to the top. You know, you measure tire around, and then this measurement you you put here. So that was that. Fog lights. You know, if you. Uh, if you don't have a fog lights and then you have installed fog lights so you can activate here then then uh, this also for fog lights if you use your heat lamps then that can take off your fog lights with you uh, going to use your heat lights TPMS, TPMS, I can show you. There's two options here. I don't know why I cannot program, you know, uh, TPMS sensor here. I couldn't find here. So, there you activate your TPMS light, you know, if you if I have basic version on TPMS so you can activate premium version but in Larado is basic in limited is premium so if you activate this this one premium so it's going to show you on dashboard you're going to have possibility to see on dashboard the pressures you know I don't have this possibility I have this basic module so that going to not show me so and here if your one of TPMS sensors doesn't work and you have this uh, dashboard light you know TPMS dashboard light you can deactivate this one also so that not disturb you yes uh, radio code uh, radio nationality code uh, that is uh, uh -huh. integration stoplight and uh, blinkers that function you can choose when you bought uh, from US car and you swap uh, the lights for European car so you can do changes here the same on the f uh, heat, la heat lamps now it's uh, configuration uh -huh. This configuration is for uh, when you use remote control to open and close doors, so you can uh, uh, activate your horn or and uh, blinkers. That one uh, you can activate automatically lock doors. That one is uh, rear fog lights. You can, uh, if you don't have a rear fog lights and you have installed it, you can activate here. If you install to this fabrics installation, of course. This is uh, the nationality code on the car, you know. So you can change here, but you must be careful with that one also. Remote steering wheel switches. Okay, you can uh, change. You know, if you uh, if you don't have switches and change the steering wheel, you can activate those switches here. 
compass and this uh, temperature display so you can uh, activate or deactivate this function uh, alarm configuration you can uh, configure your uh, alarm here car alarm alarm electric uh, mirrors I don't have electric mirrors I have only uh, heating mirrors so and the blinkers in the mirrors if you in this you can activate electric mirrors if you change the mirrors for electric but it's like in the PMS you must change the module also so but on TPMS I don't know yes on TPMS you must change module or some uh, cover harness also SCM for configuration that one you have little bit warning so Upcar doesn't have responsibility for your changes this is hidden changes I think so it's more professional changes like see we're gonna here and you have those changes here Uh, FCM configure, configurable inputs so we go here there is all inputs you can change oh, it's much more stable two hands I'm already done in Polish language so I'm a little bit tired FCM outputs So there is all outputs here. So like you see, you must be very careful with those changes. Yeah. The configuration manual parameters SCM. And that was your parameters voltage low high voltage DRL and so on so on program at network configuration there is all your network what you have set and what you doesn't have set Okay. Vehicle configuration one and that was all configuration here. Auto stick transmission. Not set vehicle configuration two now that is lot of here Configuration free. There's your T case. Configuration summary two. Is that? And customer programmable features.
And that was it. Yeah, and that was all. Like you have seen, the software has a lot of possibilities. You can do a lot of changes. If you install the new modules or so on, so on. So, yeah, that is very good software. It can be a little bit changes, like you see in live data. Sometimes I prefer to press everything, you know. So, it it's good to have this possibility to make see every you know every live data you know so now you must press ev everything what you want to see and then press the start and that hasn't have uh, graphic uh, uh, graphic me measurements so it's minus but all right, so it's very good. You have a lot of possibilities to do something. So, if I recommend this program, this software, yes, I recommend this. For who one is it? Oh, my battery is going down. Shut down and charge next time. If you have Jeeps, like you see, this is work only on canvas upwards. So if you have older one like VJ or older one Wrangler than 2007, I think so, 2007 or 2008, they start uh, in Wranglers with canvas also. So if you have down there. It's not for you, but uh, I think it's not only for Jeeps, it's for Ram, yeah, for Chrysler, uh, for Chrysler cars. So check their site, it's Upcardiac FCA. And yeah. And that's it, I think so. You know, if you have more electronics in, inside the car, you, you're gonna have more possibilities, not like me. My Grand Cherokee don't have uh, accurators on uh, differentials. I have Laredo with Quadratrack 2. So I have this Aussie Locker. I don't have this. I bought this with open uh, diffs, so... I have installed Aussie lockers. Not everyone like this one. When it clicks, <laughs> I like this. So yeah, it's it's very good software. I truly recommend this one. And stay tuned. I hope that was helpful. See you until next time.